I understand from your daughter mm -hmm. and from a few other people here that you are the person that discovered CBD first in the Cambridge family. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I don't can't give you the exact time framework that I started stumbling on it, but I've been reading about it and seen articles in Herbal Graham and other publications and mentioning it. And I thought, well, this is a product whose time has come and the public will be receptive to it. The media will eventually get receptive to it. Even the politicians will likely get receptive to it. Certainly business is going to get receptive to it because there's a market there. If we can find a product that can be beneficial for people that won't have negative side effects, that's who we are. I mean, and we're not just about the products. Frequently, I'll talk someone out of buying a product if I don't think it's the right product. I mean, we're not here for the one night stand relationship. We're here for the long term relationship. God, that's beautifully said. Yeah. So you, we, you believe, I don't want to put words in your mouth, yeah. that regulators and politicians, they'll eventually get on board with it because it is effective right. and because there's also a market and it's right. serving society. What's interesting to me are the first few people that I ended up uh, talking to who came into the store were not our stereotypical customers. They were carpenters and painters and people from all walks of life and they had various aches and pains and they were coming in and they had heard about it and they were looking for it because friends, I'm sure friends had said, have you tried CBD? They had never thought of coming into a store like ours. So the other exciting thing for us is that it's bringing in people who wouldn't otherwise frequent Now I'm business. hearing that all over the country. Yeah. And yeah. I just want to fact check this. Yes. Are you also then and your staff able to introduce them to probiotics and omega-3? Oh, sure. Sure. It's becoming... an opportunity because our goal is not to find more products to sell them. I mean, let's be clear. We only survive if we do sell. But our goal really is to establish a relationship where we are uh, acting in their to their benefits and we are providing them with products information lifestyle choices that can be beneficial so frequently yes there are certainly other products that could be beneficial but the goal is to not like just sell them endless products because we can our goal is to actually work with them because this is not just a business to us. My wife and I founded this in 1974. We were 22 years old, just shy of 23. So it's been 43 years that we've been doing this. And we're working on the next 40 years uh, with our daughter and son-in-law as second generation co-owners.